fed up of how I look. Why am I not skinny like others? Why my skin is not white? And why is it that I don't have such a well-shaped nose? I have been doing my best. I have been doing, I have been eating healthy. I have been doing my physical movement. Why can't I get the weight and the look physical build that I want? Sounds familiar? Well, I guess yes. Somehow, in our lives, at some point, we have asked ourselves these questions. Because we feel like we are not perfect. Well, nothing is really uh, bad in going for perfection. There is nothing wrong in aiming to look better, to feel better. The important thing, however, is while you are doing that journey of improving yourself, you should also be mindful of how you are treating yourself at the moment. Because how you feel, how you think, greatly impacts your life. It impacts your decision making. If you're always grumpy, it will impact your relationship. All your decisions will be based on how you feel. So you have to have a very clear emotions. You have to have maturity on your thoughts and your emotions. And one thing more, if you are actually thinking about your lackness, your being unappreciative of how you physically look, you also try to give some time and check with yourself. Is it really that I'm dissatisfied? Or am I just comparing myself with others? Because mind you, you are perfect, you are unique. And that is the reason why you are you. But if going for something better makes you feel better, makes you look better, and make you create your life better, of course, by all means, go ahead. There is, however, an underlying reason sometimes why we always feel so incomplete, so imperfect. And this is the thing that I would want you to ponder on. Somehow, you see women who are, or men, who you think are perfect. They have all the physical build that you need. Inside them, you don't know what's happening. The same is true with you. You are thinking that you are not complete, yet somebody might look at you as a perfect person. Somebody that they want to emulate. Somebody that they want to become. But if deep inside you, there is something that's bothering you because of your physical or your looks, then go deeper. It could be that this look is not actually the thing, the reason that you are comparing yourself with others or you are unhappy. The reason could be because of some emotions that you have not been able to let go. Probably because you have been indoctrinated from the past or from the current surroundings that for you to be accepted, you have to be perfect. Or probably your faults or your uh, imperfections have been always pointed out but your spouse or your loved ones why are you like this why are you like that and because of that you are actually looking for acceptance that is the reason why you are feeling unhappy you just want acceptance if only the people around you will say you are good you're perfect and you are important to us then probably you would not feel as bad or disappointed with how you look or how you feel. You see, it is always connected to our emotions or the underlying whys in our lives. If you want to understand, why is it that I am doing my best to eat healthy, to move? Why am I not losing weight? Because to lose weight, you have to be in a very calm and relaxed state. 
And if there are emotions that disturbing you inside, if there are any heavy emotions, your body tends to react defensively. And that becomes, your, your body becomes stiff, your body becomes on a fight or flight situation. And when you are on that state, you can never release everything that you want to let go. If you want, or if you are done figuring this out on your own, on how to appreciate yourself, the way you look, and how to journey to become better, but being happy and accepting yourself at this time because you are complete and you are wonderful, then I am inviting you to go deeper, to understand deeper the reasons, and involve yourself in understanding the unseen power of energy healing or energy because somehow this can help you if you have tried all other means if you have tried everything that you can think of but nothing helped you there's nothing to lose if you want to become better you have to find a way take a step forward otherwise you will be living in the same state like this forever you don't want that to happen so if you're ready to do that just drop us a message or check our website and see how how you can understand why you are so unappreciative of how you look at the moment and why are your efforts to become better not working what are the underlying reasons when everything has been done? What could be done to resolve this? Love yourself. You are beautiful. You are complete. You are such a wonderful gift. <laughs>